Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Chat. Now, if you already own an iPad Air 2, is it worth upgrading to the brand new iPad Pro 9.7 in terms of performance alone? So I'm gonna do a little bit of a speed test for you guys. We're gonna start with a boot test and then look at some benchmarks and some app launching times, as well as multitasking to see how these tablets compare in terms of speed and performance to hopefully answer the question of whether you need to upgrade. At 24 seconds, the Air 2 takes twice as long as the Pro 9.7 to boot up. But before we start looking at benchmarks and app launching, I want to test the difference in the Touch ID responsiveness. As you can see, the Pro on the left is just a little bit quicker than the Air 2. It's not really uh, much of a significant difference at all, but side by side, you can tell that the Pro does load maybe about half a second faster. So now we're back on the main home screen, you can see there's nothing running in the background. It's also important to note that both are running 9.3.1, the latest iOS at time of recording. But before we start, you can also see the Pro on the left is quite a bit brighter than the Air 2 on the right. If you look at the notifications bar, if I swipe down, it's definitely a bit of a difference in brightness. Apple claim there's a 25% difference. So uh, that's just another thing to consider, but this is a speed test. So let's get started with some benchmarks and we'll start by running Geekbench 3. So considering they both have two gigabytes of RAM, what's the difference between the A8X and the A9X processors? Well, as you can see, there is still a noticeable difference in terms of performance, particularly in terms of single core performance, which is 50% different compared to just 15% in multi-core. But moving on to the Antutu benchmark, once again, there's quite a significant 38% difference between the two scores. But does that translate into real world performance difference? Let's find out by starting some apps and seeing how long they take to load. So I'm sure you'll agree the Pro 9.7 on the left is a bit faster than the Air 2, but another thing to consider is how well they open recently closed apps. So I'm gonna jump back to a few different apps and games to see if they have to launch and reload, or they can just instantly resume where they left off. So 
So on the whole, I think there is definitely a noticeable difference between the Air 2 and the Pro 9.7, but while it may be noticeable, I don't think it's necessarily significant. Both are extremely fast and responsive. That's a credit to both the iOS software and the hardware inside. You really can't go wrong with either tablet if you are looking at buying one. Let me know what you think of the Pro in the comments below. Would you upgrade? Would you buy one? Do let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again right here on the Tech Chat.